Hi boys and girls, it's story time with Miss Garcia again. Yay! And of course, do you see my visitor? She loves story time. I put out her blankie and she got right up on the couch. She might fall asleep, she's a little tired. We went for a walk this morning, so she might be a little tired. But it is story time. And today we are gonna read one of your favorites. Yes, a story that I know you guys love. Think, 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 think. We read it before. It is Peep the Cat, I Love My White Shoes. That's the title of the book. The title of the book is called Peep the Cat, I Love My White Shoes. The art, the illustrator, that means he drew all the pictures in the story. So all the pictures in this book that we're gonna look at were drawn by James Dean. He is the illustrator of the book. Now, the story was written by, so it's the author. The author is Eric Litwin. He wrote all the words in this story. So let's go over our parts of the book. Ready? This is the, remember, if you know it, you need to say it front of the book. This is the back of the book. And right here is the spine of the book. All right, let's open up the book and see what the words say. Now remember, this story kind of goes, has a little bit of a song to it. I hope you guys remember. There he is. There's Pete the cat. Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. Do you know it? Ready, here we go. I love my white shoes. 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 Oh no, Pete stepped in a large pile of, what do those look like? Strawberries. What color did his shoes turn? So if he stepped in strawberries, what color are his shoes now? Do you know, say it. They are red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Ready, ready for his song? I love my red shoes. 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 in a large pile of, what do those look like? Blueberries. What color did it turn his shoes? What color are his shoes? What do you think? He stepped in blueberries. So what color are blueberries? Blue. Look at his shoes, they're blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept singing along and singing his song. Here we go. I love my blue shoes. 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 <gasps> oh no! Pete stepped in a large puddle of what does that look like? Mud. What color did it turn his shoes? So what color are his shoes now? He stepped in mud. Do you know? If you know, say it. Brown. Look at his shoes, they're brown now. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. 
he kept walking along and singing his song. Look, and that says groovy. What's he gonna sing? How's he gonna sing it? Sing it with me. I love my brown shoes. 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 <laughs> Look, he's drinking coffee, my favorite. <laughs> oh no. Pete stepped in a large bucket of, what is that? What is he stepping in? Water. All the brown, all the blue, all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? So all of the colors are gone. So what are his shoes again? If you know it, say it. White. But now they were wet. So now he has white shoes, but they're all wet. Did he cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. It says rock and roll. How's the song gonna go now? That they're wet. I love my wet shoes. 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 The moral of the story is no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song. Because it's all good. Look, and there are all the shoes. She didn't fall asleep. She's yet awake. I guess she really liked the story. Well, our story time is over. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know this is one of y'all's favorite books, so I thought it'd be fun to read it today. Um, Zoe liked it too. So, um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope to see you soon. Um, until the next story time. Okay. Bye, boys and girls. <laughs>